Hi, this is Elliot, and I'm about to give you just about everything you need to know about corn snakes. The corn snake is a North American species of rat snake and kills its prey with constriction. Living up to four to six feet, corn snakes are often found throughout the southeastern and central United States. Wild corn snakes prefer habitats such as open fields, abandoned or seldom used buildings, trees, they really like that sort of thing. Corn snakes can also tend to live in places all the way up to 6,000 feet above sea level. Corn snakes are also known for helping the population of rodent pests that damage crops and spread disease. Now when you get this snake, you have to be prepared and know that it will grow and it will live a very long time. In the wild, they live up to eight years, but like in captivity, they can live up to 20 years. So these corn snakes come in beautiful patterns, like extraordinarily beautiful designs and morphs, like it's bizarre. Now let me tell you a little bit of information about their cage setup. So here is my setup. What I, this is, this is just for my ball python, but what I was told is that this works for varieties of different types of snakes. I'm not going to go into them all today, but one of the types is corn snakes. And it's good to give your snake choices because you want two hides. Honestly, mushroom containers work perfect for me, but, um, yeah, you just have to make sure there's little doors I can go right into. See, I have a heat mat right here. Um, uh, most people put bedding in between, but mine seemed, my snake seemed like it was getting really cold, so I decided to make it so it could go right against the heat mat, but, um, anyway, so there's a heat mat, and this thing is a probe that is part of the Jumpstart thermostat, which is basically a thing that I, that I bought separately from the heat mat so that I could adjust the temperature. I can adjust the temperature of the heat mat with this thermostat. I highly suggest the Jumpstart thermostat. It works really well. But the temperature that you should use for um, for corn snakes, honestly, most people suggest 75 through 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, these, these hides work pretty perfect for me. And you need a warm end and a cool end so that they can heat up or cool off. Now this probe, this probe right here is to measure the temperature so it can tell, it can tell the jumpstart thermostat to turn it up or down. Um, and I had to glue it on here with silicone sealant because they come with these little suction cups that you suction cup it on, but then the snake will just pop it right off and, and then bring it to a different part of the enclosure and then it'll tell it that it is not hot enough so it'll turn it too hot. So you need to make sure that doesn't happen, you should use... Um, silicone sealant, which is the same stuff I use. You need to make sure it's 100% silicone. You put it into a silicone gun and you squirt it right on there. It works perfect and it's stuck there and hopefully for good. Um, and you don't have to use decorative like log hides if you don't want to. It doesn't really matter that much, but I generally just like the look of it. Um, and it's better for her to explore. And then about the humidity box. The humidity box, honestly, I suggest doing, you, you have to soak spag moss in, you have to soak spag moss in water and then squeeze it out just to make sure it's nice and damp and put it in there. It, this has been damp for two weeks and it has not dried out, which is amazing to me. But anyway, these, this is just a cheap old bin I got from the store, and honestly, it works perfect. You just need to make a little hole in there, and after a while, the snake will find out about the humidity box. It just takes time for them to explore. You may, you may think that, you may get a little bit worried that it won't find it. I had the same thing, and it will find it over time. And then, you can get, like, these little branches to put in here, same like the log hide. Like, that's just decorative. You don't really need it all that much but you want to make sure that there's slithering space and that they have a lot of things to explore but not too much and you like like they like things to kind of climb on and yeah you can get like these branches from like the craft store anything works um however th like the water dish th the water dish you can honestly you can do different you can do different things you can kind of be creative but but honestly you need something with a heavy base. You need something with a heavy base, otherwise the snake will tip it right over. 
Um, you want something with a heavy base, and it doesn't have to be all decorative and fancy like this. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. You can just get, like, a little bowl if you wanted. Either way, it has to have a big old heavy base. And, um, the fibers that I use, these are just cheap old Aspen fibers, and they work great. Some people use, like, like, newspapers or paper towels, but then every time they poop, you just have to change everything. You have to take out all the bedding, um, and put it in the trash and change it. When th with this, you could just go boop and put it right in the trash, like, that easy. But, um, yeah, this is my setup, and it works pretty great, and, um, I hope you can use this for your corn snake. So, obviously for the bin, you have to drill holes for it. I did two, ro two rows of ten, and that works pretty well, um, and then I also drilled some on the lid, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And you also have to get a bin that clamps on, because if it's just one of those ones that kind of pops on, then they'll just pop it right off and escape. And as you can see, this little girl really does want to get out of this thing. Now for the size, for the size of the enclosure, a lot of people say that you should stretch out your snake along one side and if it just about fits it then that's just about the size you want to go and they also said that you should not try to put a baby in a giant 40 gallon bin right away or it will get stressed out but another thing i was told and the guy who told me this was the guy who i got this little girl from is that you actually can do that as long as you have little spots for them to hide in and for the humidity box, you need to make sure that there's not standing water inside the box, or that can develop scale rot on their belly. Now for feeding the snake. Generally, most people suggest measuring the fattest part of the snake, and that's about the size of mouse or rat that you want to go. Um, like when they're really tiny, you start out with pinkies. When they get bigger, you go to fuzzies. You can look it up. But um, for feeding them, if you've got... A snake that has already started eating live but you think it would be easier to do frozen then what I suggest is starting out with a live one and then after just to get it eating you know and then once it's done like once it's actually gotten eating may you can try feeding it frozen but what I tried was I tried feeding it in this cardboard box and I tried watching it, and I put the mouse in there, and it was just walking in circles, antagonizing the heck out of that snake. And the snake did not eat it. Same with the last mouse. It just ignored it. It did not care. It was just trying to get out because it wanted me to hold it. Like, And finally, I just shut the box, and I just put something on top of it, and I listened for about three seconds, and I just hear the footsteps of the mouse, and then a little squeak. And I opened it, and I was, my dreams had, like, come true. Finally, it ate. So I think what they need is privacy. I think that's the secret to getting your snake to eat. So if your snake is having trouble eating, I suggest that scenario. Now, another reason for using this cardboard box is because that way, every time you put your snake in there, when it's time to eat, it will remember the box, and it will think, oh, okay, good, it's eating time. Well, that's about it for corn snakes. I hope this video has been very helpful to you.